ABC's Rena Roy is reporting now on the COVID-19 in the rest of the nation, including possible signs of hope, as it appears the Omicron variant is potentially peaking in some of the areas. As the Omicron variant tears through the U.S., healthcare workers are sounding the alarm as some hospitals fill up again. We have never had this many COVID patients in the hospital at any point in the pandemic. The governor of Wisconsin calling in the National Guard to help with nurse staffing shortages as patients stream in. We've all seen the tragic story of individuals who need urgent care or treatment whether COVID or not, but can't get it because our hospitals are full. We're estimating the first round of staffing relief will allow skilled nursing facilities to open up 200 or more beds. And starting next week, a thousand military medical specialists will also lend a hand. The White House sending them to overwhelmed facilities in six hard hit states. We are looking at, um, you know, 40, 45 days of total support and that is a much more meaningful impact. Some waiting hours to get tested for the virus. Officials in Utah changing their guidelines, urging symptomatic people to just stay home for five days instead of getting tested. But health experts say the surge could be peaking or nearing a peak in some states. In California, authorities seeing COVID traces in wastewater potentially going down. We're cautiously optimistic um, that, you know, that we'll see that in our clinical cases. I think this is an extremely promising Sign. The White House says the administration has a stockpile of more than 750 million high quality masks like the N95 available, but it's still unclear how and when Americans can actually get their hands on them. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.